Welcome to Michiana Mainlines Holiday Edition. Today we're back in southern Michigan on the KLS and C and uh, checking out their dinner train operation. This is just east of Lawrence, Michigan. I believe this is 46 and a half Street. Uh, the dinner train is moving eastward toward uh, Pawpaw. These are Transisco Tour passenger cars that are being utilized and we will see their E8A engine number 95 in action. This is part two of the KLS and C story. I have another video on here that focuses on their GP7 locomotives and their scenic train, but this is uh, another look at the uh, dinner train. This was the uh, early 90s. This operation uh, was uh, going on late 80s into the mid 90s when they filed bankruptcy. Kalamazoo, Lakeshore, and Chicago. Great look at that locomotive there. This track is all gone now, having been abandoned several uh, years ago. I talk more about that in part one. West Michigan Railroad uh, operated it after KLS and C went out of business, but then it was removed several years ago, maybe five or six years ago, and uh, now they are in negotiations to make this a uh, bike trail. Now we see the train approaching, uh, I believe it's 43rd Street, or I always called it M51, just north of the uh, I-94 interchange and just south of Red Arrow Highway. Again, moving eastward toward uh, Pawpaw. That locomotive, the E8A, was a uh, Chicago and Northwestern locomotive originally and uh, was uh, also in some Metra service. Sadly, during operation here, it suffered a fire and was pretty much uh, deemed unrepairable and then just used for parts. I understand the shell is now at a uh, museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Again, this is east of uh, Lawrence and uh, east of Lake Cora. Another one of the uh, KLS and C locomotives and caboose. Several extensions have already been granted in order for the uh, West Michigan to negotiate with the uh, Department of Natural Resources to turn this into a bike and hiking trail. Uh, it's called interim trail use. That means that uh, the rail could possibly be put back if needed in the future, but in the interim it will be used as a uh, nature trail. That's what they want to do with pretty much this entire length between Lawrence and Pawpaw, except for a couple miles that runs right across the beach in Lake Cora. Property owner, owners at Lake Cora purchased 
that a couple miles so that it would not be included in any kind of trail so they wouldn't have their privacy uh, violated. But that two miles is still part of the interim trail use. So if rail would actually be put back in the future, it would also be able to be put back through the Lake Cora area and nobody would be able to uh, say anything about it. Now we see them coming through some vineyard areas approaching uh, I believe 41st Street. I think this might have been known as Teapot Dome. Maybe because it was kind of the top of a hill. Conductor flagging the uh, crossing for safety reasons. Almost looks like those rails are right at ground level. The track on this line is still in place pretty much west of Lawrence. In fact, the new ownership which has taken over that part of the railroad now is actually seeing a resurgence in business uh, near the Hartford area. But this track all here is uh, gone. Now we see the area near 38th and 58th Street. This is just west of Paw Paw and uh, southeast of the big Coca-Cola plant there. There was a siding here that went into the Coca-Cola plant and that was one of the uh, businesses that they wanted to try to get over the years, both operations, but nobody was really successful in getting any business out of there as far as I know. Here we'll see a good view of the train as it passes by. It was kind of pricey to take this dinner train. I believe it was about a three hour uh, event as they needed all that time to uh, get all of the different courses of the meal served.
problem with a lot of the dinner train operations uh, were the fact that people would kind of take it just to see what it was about but being pricey and all it wasn't really something that people would do over and over again so a lot of them kinda were popular for a while and then lost their popularity pretty quickly and there just wasn't enough people taking them to make it uh, profitable here's the final closing shot we're gonna kinda see a look here at a holiday uh, train in Sturgis Michigan this was a Christmas excursion that they put on sometime in, in the 90s look closely and you'll get a look at Santa Claus in uh, one of the windows of that passenger car next year we're gonna see more on this here as we will actually have a uh, cab ride taken from this train so I hope you have enjoyed this thanks for watching comment like happy holidays to everybody Merry Christmas to everybody and we'll see you next year